Did you know many people in your high school that uh, did drugs? Yes. Did it, can you expand a little bit of that? What was the percentage of your friends that use drugs? Percentage of my friends that use drugs? Uh, I would say about a quarter of them, maybe a third. No. 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 Oh, yeah. There was a, gr a great majority of them probably did, but uh, our group of friends just stuck together and found out their alternatives. Yes. Yes. No, that was pretty unheard of, I think. Yes. No. Didn't use drugs. Used. I have pothead friends. I'm not kidding. Yeah. Well, they did pot, but not a lot of them. Yes. Um, I can say quite a few. Yes, some. In the Bahamas, no. In America, yes. <laughs> yeah, a good amount. Maybe 20%. I'd say 40%. What kind of drugs did they use? Mostly just marijuana. What's marijuana? Recreationally. Uh, marijuana and... Pot and maybe heroin. Uh, weed, pot, marijuana. Definitely uh, marijuana was the first drug. Pot was pretty popular, yeah. Usually pot. Yeah, they smoke weed man, most of the time. Well, I had a lot of friends that just smoked pot, but we really didn't consider that a drug. Like. The hardcore people were doing methamphetamine. Weed, LSD, mostly, yeah? Most, I, I'd say more than 50% of them were smoking weed and maybe, I knew a few kids who were doing coke and meth and such. Marijuana. So all my more would say pot. pot. Okay, so do you think that most of the teenagers view pot as a kind of drug or? A yeah, um, I'd say they view it as a drug, but not something that's very serious drug, although it is. Uh, marijuana, cocaine, ecstasy, acid, mushrooms. What do you think? What do you think pushes kids into using drugs? How do they start? Peer pressure, drinking, skating, bad parenting. Peer pressure amongst their friends at school. Um, lack of a role model at home. Um, maybe because they're lonely or they're depressed and they are seeking solace. Maybe it was the most accessible. Definitely, it was easily bought and easily sold in high school. Um, I know actually a lot of them started because they thought they're gonna lose weight from the girls and, and the guys. I'm not so clear on that. Probably peer pressure. If you wanted to do it, you could find it. And uh, I don't know other than that, it's just certain groups of friends did it more than others. I think, uh, I imagine they, uh, must be some kind of thrill-seeking, I suppose, and uh, trying something new. People are always going to be curious about it. It's against the law, which makes it kind of intriguing. So I think that's a big drive towards why people do it, you know? They always want to rebel against what society tells you not to do, and at the teenage age, that's, that typically seems to be a aspect of young adult life. Uh, the media really portrays drug abuse as something that's positive and um, doesn't really show all the negative aspects of it. Like rap music and stuff like that, different types of music or anything they see on television, um, movies and stuff like that, definitely media does play. Well, my immediate guess would be that uh, media, especially uh, well, especially movies and television, may make uh, illegal drugs look uh, attractive to a lot of people. I don't think it makes a difference. Uh, well, a lot of times drugs are glorified in their use and stuff, but as far as, I think negative effects are the fact that um, Media doesn't do a good enough job of promoting reasons not to do drugs. They say it's, you know, your parents tell you not to or society tells you not to, but they don't really give what I would say legitimate reasons as to not using them. What do you think is the best way to prevent drug abuse? <clears throat> I think being, talking about it, being open, being yes. involved in sports, because they have all those rules. Um, education. I know a lot of kids didn't do drugs just because of sports. Um, but if you're educated about it, 
you could decide not to do it on your own accord without being told think not to do it. Awareness, and I think uh, perhaps con- confidential addiction counseling. Go to church. And just um, helping kids to have uh, like activities they can do, like after school. Like I don't know, I think sports. Awareness. <laughs> Commercials. <laughs> That's got to be the answer. <laughs> find your anti-drug. Yeah. Why you gotta find the other escape from reality. That's what I'm saying. I, I um, women. When you compare groups of friends that did it and that didn't do it, do you see any difference between uh, them where they are where they are at this point? The kids who were the hardcore weed smokers in high school all ended up going to Normandale Community College, and they still live in Bloomington. Most of them dropped out. Well, when I was doing my graduate work in Berkeley, I uh, had finished my uh, oral tests. I think and I was there's a beautiful hill behind where I lived. I used to walk walk up. It gave a view of the whole Bay Area. And I got to the top of the hill, and there was a bunch of people sitting around there, and they offered me a joint of marijuana. What did you say? I said, no, thank you. I <laughs> try it. Did you ever regret that, that, that choice? Oh, I think I may have tried it once someplace. I can't remember where. <laughs> I might have, yeah, I think so. That didn't really do much for me. 